Are you ready for a STEM challenge? Well, I have one for you today. Today, you're going to make a tower that can withstand winds. I'm going to show you some simple techniques that you can use to build a tower as tall as you can so that it can withstand wind from arm length. Speaking of towers, did you know that in the Middle Ages, towers were the first tall buildings to be made, like this Leaning Tower of Pizza? Towers were built by civil engineers. Engineers are uh, design dams, bridges, uh, structures, airports, things that can support us and that we can use. And they have to design it where it can withstand weather conditions. Well, the only problem with towers long time ago was that because of the way they were designed and built, all the rooms felt so tight and cramped and people felt uncomfortable in them. Well, as time went on, uh, engineers began to design new buildings that they called skyscrapers. Do you wonder why they came up with that saying skyscrapers? Think about it and leave me a comment below. So, as time went on and engineers began to design better buildings, they began to face nature. They began to face wind. And so, they had to come up with a different way to design the columns and beams so that it can withstand wind force. And remember, your challenge today is going to be about wind that your tower can withstand the force of wind. So, what are the forces that actually work with buildings? Well, one, when the, the tall buildings, the skyscrapers, they are pushing down onto the, onto the ground. But at the same time, the ground is pushing up. So those forces are working together. Now, as far as the columns, they, when they started making uh, taller buildings, like the skyscrapers, they put columns on each side. So, when those columns on one side stretch out, on the opposite side, columns begin to push in. So, those forces are working together also. So once engineers began to figure out how to make stronger buildings and began to realize how the forces are working when it comes to wind, they came up with a way to make the core solid in the building. So I'm going to show you my simple design of a tower. And then I want you to take the challenge and build a tower that will resist the wind also. All right, are you ready? Let's get started. To build your tower, you will need three simple materials. Tape, scissors, and three sheets of newspaper. Your challenge is to make a tower that you can blow wind at from arm's length and it's still standing. I'm going to show you a simple tower that I make and then you can make one of your own. Take your sheet of paper and roll it tight. Then take tape and tape it on one end in the middle. Use your scissors to cut a straight edge at the end. If you want your tower longer than this, then you can use the second sheet to make the second part of your tower.
Now that my tower is made, I'm going to show it to you for the full height. Now that we have this tower completed, we're going to measure to see how tall my tower is. I'm just going to use a basic ruler. So we start off with 12 inches, 24, and three more gives us 27 inches. Now, the challenge is once you have your tower made, we want to see if it can withstand wind. And we will do this by blowing wind on it at arm's length. Notice it tilts a little bit. Try it again. It leans some more. What are some things you think I can do now that I have designed and I have this prototype made? What can I do to improve my design so that it doesn't lean like it's leaning now because of the wind? So remember, when civil engineers build structures, they build them so that they can withstand uh, natural disasters such as hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes. And so we don't want the building to collapse. So there are some things that I need to go back to my design and planning and redo some things to make my structure more stronger. Do I need to make the beams better? Do I need to add more beams? Do I need to make the column taller or shorter? Those are some things that I want you to consider when you're designing your tower. You're going to have a blast with this and I'm looking forward to hearing how your towers turned out so that it can prevent wind damage or prevent collapsing under uh, different types of uh, hazardous things that go on here in the world. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this STEM video, and I will be sharing more of these with you in the upcoming videos. 